Bianca from Sarande for the last time. And now we're headed north. We've got about eight knots of wind. And it's coming from direction. Yeah, kind of right right on our nose. So we're just close hauled here. We got the first reef in. It's feeling pretty nice. Clean off that lens a little bit. There we go. Wind uh, autopilot's on now, but I'm gonna swap over the wind vane now because we're Pretty good wind out here. Here's a look at the chart. We're departing Sarande, heading northwest up the Adriatic, and there might be a good spot to stop around here. I believe there's like a sea cave and maybe a nature reserve on that island. And then we'll I'll probably go up to Durest to check out and go over to Montenegro in Croatia. And ideally I think I'd like to make it to Venice this year. Maybe put the boat somewhere around there for winter. Or also potentially sailing all the way back and putting the boat in Tunisia for the winter. We'll see what happens. So on this passage, I went and got a massive pizza for the first few days. It's my old tradition, kind of. I haven't been doing that in a while, but I, I, this is a pretty good pizza place. And uh, I'm just gonna, now that I had lunch, I'll bag up the rest, put it in the fridge, and that'll be my, my lunches and dinners and maybe breakfast too for the next couple of days. And I got plenty of other food, so we're pretty, pretty well stocked. I've been liking this app. What is this app called? Uh, TC Speeds. And yeah, you can, you can do that. It shows you, it connects to my Glyphsa wind meter, which has been working pretty good since I moved it uh, to that back corner of the boat where it can have better signal. And uh, you can do the VMG, get your speed. I got your wind, uh, true wind and apparent wind. And um, yeah, I gotta put a new waypoint in there, I guess, so I can get the VMG right. But I don't even went back to Norway, so actually maybe I'll pop her Albanian sim into that phone or maybe the tablet so I can have internet on two devices. Amazing. Oh, actually it looks like the wind just died, so. Oh, the wind has died and the sun has set. I think there might've been a correlation there. Not sure. So let's say I dropped the sails. We're just a few miles offshore here. Oh, it's rocking. Oh, it's rocking pretty hard, actually. Got a little bit of a leftover swell. Figure out, drop the sails, and wait and see if the wind comes back this evening. I might just, uh, I just drift out here overnight. There's not a whole lot of ships. There's like one ferry that comes by every once in a while, like one fishing boat I've seen. Um, I think we'll be okay here. There's some, there was some decent wind this afternoon. It was kind of against us. So we only made it seven miles in the direction we're trying to go, which is not a great average for the day. Hopefully the wind, uh, hopefully we don't pick up. It's kind of like a wind hole here. But at least you get, I think there'll be, there might be a catabatic wind coming down these mountains. Maybe that, maybe tonight we'll get some of that and we can sail along the coast with a catabatic wind. Uh, these are pretty good mountains. I might be able to find a good paragliding site if I, if I look for one. Well, welcome to day number two. It is another windless day in the Mediterranean. Well, it's not quite true. We had five knots for four to five knots a few times for maybe an hour at the most. We've made it about, let's see, we made it about five miles overnight and we've made it about seven miles today. Now it's about 2 p.m. I'm thinking maybe I'll just turn the motor on and go anchor uh, off the beach. Maybe anchor off the beach. I think I could, I might have time to hike up the mountain and fly the paraglider. I feel like I ought to do something. Thought there was going to be wind today. Not really much. Oh, 
But I'm making some ramen. Some ramen noodles. Yum. This road is a paragliding site, but it looks like it's a three hour hike, so it would be after dark by the time I got there. So I think I'll have to pass. Tomorrow is supposed to be some good good wind, so I think we'll use that and get up to um, get up the coast of Albania, and then there's some more paraglide sites in Montenegro, so that would be another good spot to paraglide. And also I gotta sail back down here, so maybe I'll stop stop on the way down. I'm kinda saving the paragliding sites as I go, so hopefully I can I can at least hit a few. Dinner today, salmon and Brussels sprouts. First time I found Brussels sprouts in a while. I love Brussels sprouts. I love salmon. All right, out of nowhere, we got some really strong wind. I think it's uh, the Canabatic winds flowing down these mountains. After the sun has set, so I got the uh, the main double reefed. The jib rolled up just a bit, and we are doing six knots upwind. Water is still pretty flat. Hopefully, uh, since we're on the lee side of the mountains, um, it'll stay. We're, we're close enough to shore; it won't get too choppy. Closed up the hatches. Oh, this is the first day I'm trying out my new my new uh, little dome light here. Bing! Pretty cool. Just bright enough to read the uh, numbers on the wind vane, so that's that's useful. Don't have to run down and get my headlamp every time. I'll probably turn that back off now. Well, I guess we're filming. Leave it on. <laughs> I'm I'm seeing more Starlinks uh, satellites. I think it might be the same um, same set of Starlink satellites I saw the other night. They're they're a little dimmer tonight. Not really showing up on the camera tonight. This is doing six knots, six and a half. I saw seven a minute ago. And I got 16 knots uh, apparent, 17 apparent, 16 true, pretty nice. Oh, it's picking up, we're gonna hit seven, 20 knots. And then our VMG, oh, I gotta reset my uh, my waypoint here. So what you do is put it here. There we go, got a VMG, 4.8. That's useful. And that does these vectors so you can see like your, I don't know. I, in theory, this sounds great, but I haven't really made much of use of it because the wind is always shifting, you know? I'm debating put, putting the uh, glass in the Dodger tonight because I feel like things could pick up. But I think this is probably the catabatic wind and it probably won't last all night. Although actually we could get into the prevailing winds though tonight and that would be worth putting it up for because it could last for a while. So here, look at the chart, and we're finally making some progress. Actually, with the speed we're going, we might actually pass the, the cave and everything tonight. So I might not get a stop there this time. I'm also keeping an eye out for this aircraft carrier that's supposed to be sailing in the Adriatic now. May or may not be on AIS. Be cool to see that. I've seen a couple aircraft carriers before while sailing. I saw one in uh, Norfolk, and one in the Pacific. Here we are, day number three. And the wind was perfect last night. It stayed between 10 to 20 knots. Wind vane steered the whole night. Only just uh, this morning did it lighten up. I think we're about 30 miles away from our destination in Albania. We'll, we'll explore that area for a bit and we'll check out of Albania and work our way over to Montenegro. That's the plan. And if the wind holds up, I mean, we're doing about two and a half to three knots, so we should should get there today. The sun is out. The flag is up. That's the Albania flag. It's like a, a red one with a black eagle kind of thing. Pretty pretty badass, I think. And I've seen a few ships. Can't really see any on the high horizon right now. But, oh, there's one way out there. A few cargo ships and uh, ferries. Made some pizza for breakfast. Looks like I've got enough for one more meal for lunch. So that was a good good purchase. That features that pizza lasted me three days. Now I'm gonna edit my next YouTube video. This 
on the setting, so we're not gonna quite make it before make it a port before the sunset. But we are pretty close. Let's see Duras up ahead. Seven miles to go. So we should get in before. Uh, I just said it's getting dark. If the wind holds up anyway, which it might die in a couple of, an hour or two. But we're just gonna anchor out. We're gonna anchor in the, uh, the bay there. I think the wind is actually gonna switch around overnight, so it might not be comfortable to stay there too long. I need to get moving on. We're pulling up to the port now. Well, the port's over here, and then we're just gonna anchor outside here. Looks like there's like a beach or something, maybe. We can dinghy into shore tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get too rough. We need, to, we need to check out somewhere in that port tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon will be nice. Here it is the next morning. We were outside of Duras, anchored. I actually woke up just a little bit ago and uh, I thought we were too close, too far away from the land. So I pulled up the anchor and drifted closer, but unfortunately, oh, well, it's not too big of a deal. I, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I drifted closer than I wanted. So we're actually only in six feet of water here, but pickles only four feet deep. So no big deal. And that means it'll be really easy to pull the anchor up when I leave. And we still got plenty of room between shore. Just gotta be a little cautious if there's some shallow spots, but I think it's just sand and mud here. So should, should be fine. I'll be blowing up the dinghy in just a minute. I'm doing a few things on the phone, finishing uploading a video, and then we'll, we'll go ashore. It looks like people are putting their boats on the beach there. And we'll go explore Duras. So just rode ashore. Here we are walking around the, the beachfront in Duras and I think I might actually spend one more night here and check out tomorrow just because I spent all morning uh, dealing with some some stuff on the internet and working on some video getting uploads finalized so I want a little bit more time to explore the city without having to rush and I'll head out tomorrow up to Montenegro look how shallow the, uh, the water is here Day walking around Duras. I got my ice cream and had a good dinner. So now going back to the boat. Tomorrow morning we'll try to get in touch with the agent and check out and off to Montenegro. I thought I was getting one of these donuts. <laughs> I got like 10. It's funny how shallow it is here. Like it shouldn't be able to touch that far out, it looks like. You can see, even all the way out here, you can see the we're only five feet deep, five or six feet. Back on pickle, I opted not to row the one mile each way to meet the agent at the uh, fishing harbor here. So we're just going to sail a little closer and then I can row from there. We're running a little low in time. Blinging berries, towing behind happily. I just pulled out the, main, the jib, no mainsail because we're only going half a mile or so. Impressive port they have here. A lot of military ships in there too, it looks like. Some ferries and cruise ships too.
right, just dropped the anchor way out in the middle of the open here. That's the fishing harbor. Let's go find our agent. All right, so I just tied up the lingonberry on this pile of rocks here because it's a long way to row and the wind's against me. Okay, check it out, it was super simple. It was that, that guy in the white suit. I think it was, it was 60 euros to check out. Although I used a Panalbanian to get rid of my, the rest of my Albanian money. A bit of garbage there. So now we can get out of here. And yeah, yeah, I just emailed him. It was really easy. That was a lot easier than checking in. I mean, it wasn't hard checking. It just took about an hour to get them to do all the stamps and stuff. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time when we sail to one more spot in Albania. It's a pretty good one. It was worth stopping at. And then we go to Montenegro. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos. YouTube will recommend some of them. I've got like over 300. I'll see you guys next time.